The Twins lost their first and only exhibition game, uh, four to three to the Cubs. Didn't look especially sharp, but check out Miguel Sano here. Give up the two pistol. Big man looking real comfortable over at first base. You see Donaldson aggressively go get this ball. He knows he doesn't have a whole lot of time. Homer Bailey got the start. He gave up three home runs in his three innings pitched. Uh, a lot of people are kind of dr- uh, jumping ship on Bailey, but check this out. From this date forward in 2019, he was tied with Zach Greinke for the 11th most wins above replacement Situation. among pitchers. Don't throw the Bailey out with the bathwater. <laughs> Here's some of Jorge Alcala, incredibly impressive uh, plate appearance here. 99, and check this out. Got it. And just rear back, and pump knew he was going to strike him out right there. So Alcala was pretty impressive in his inning. Still has some things to clean up, but again, he's a bullpen sleeper. We talked about that earlier. Dan Hayes provided an update on Jake Odorizzi. He will not make a start during the opening series. Uh, He's going to start the year in the IL. However, it's not expected to be serious. He's not uh, expected to miss a significant amount of time. And as far as Byron Buxton goes, I'll let Marnie Gellner Gellner. provide you an update there. Our broadcast continues to originate from Target Field. And this is where Byron Buxton has been the last couple of days working out, trying to get that sprained left foot ready to go. And the hope would be for the Twins that Buxton is able to join them at some point for this weekend series against the White Sox, but he's just not quite ready to give it a go yet. Rocco Baldelli, though, said that Buxton is definitely doing a lot better, that he's gaining a whole lot of confidence.